can tell you had... about our first date. It was absolutely horrific. I was teaching school, and I went to a meat shop in Navarre, and I talked to the butchers, and I said, I've gotten dating a butcher, and you got to make this right. I said, you write everything on the package as to how to cook it, where to put it, what to do. So I'm teaching school, get out of work late, we meet, he comes to my apartment, and we open the door. No smell. I forgot to turn the stove on. <laughs> <laughs> it was good, but we had too late. So it's it's been a it's forty five years. Yeah. On January eighth of two thousand and eighteen, we had a catastrophic medical event with Tim. When he arrived, he was in a wheelchair. Um, he spent a lot of time in memory care, putting his life back together, uh, physical therapy, occupational therapy. Um, it was it's been a, it was a tough year. It's really important that you have your life put together. Get those legal things taken care of. Um, it, it'll save so much frustration if you have to go through a medical emergency. It took me 24 hours and the moving company to move in here. We were so set to go. Um, I think the transition for me was so such a relief to have a community that I didn't have to, I was scared, I really was. I was living by myself, I didn't know what to do, I didn't have nurses or doctors at my beck and call. It was a tremendous relief. Everything I need is here. And the, the attendants, the nurses, and all the people that help me is very good. And the food's good. Don't forget the food's good. I also like uh, the fact that Tim can go off by himself and he can go down to the video room with all the guys and watch the football game on a 70 inch screen TV. And they've got movie nights and- Netflix. Netflix. And um, they play cards. They, it's just nonstop activities. They you get, can either take a nap or you can do something. That's what's so nice about the whole, we call this a community because it is a community. We have people who live dependently. They rent an apartment and they participate or they don't. We have people like ourselves who are in assisted living and we have people who have uh, memory care and we all blend together. Memory care comes out and we'll sit and have lunch with them and, and it's so exciting for us to be able to blend together. Nobody's segregated here. It's just open. It's great. It was just like putting on a pair of shoes. You knew right away that you were comfortable here. We knew a lot of the people here. Um, one of the other things was is that we were close to our family and our friends, and we were so excited that they were welcome to come for dinner and meals here. And my grandchildren went to school and told the uh, all the kids that Grandma and Grandpa are living in a castle. Wow. <laughs> 